Let's talk about the reason we're here today, ma'am. We're here to hand over permits. Yes, indeed. We are here to hand over permits to ordinary members of the community and society, but as well as the companies that would be entering into trade and business with these communities. South Africa found it necessary uh, some few years ago, a work that was concluded in 2008, to ensure that we actually regulate this mega biodiverse uh, uh, fauna and flora that's in our country. We do know indeed that there has been some people who have been harvesting and actually exporting uh, this fauna and flora from our own country without us benefiting. And this kraal boss that's found here falls within the regulatory framework or is rather regula regulated in terms of the regulatory framework that was concluded in, 90, uh, in 2008. What is that regulatory framework? We uh, deemed it necessary that as South Africa, we, within the uh, na National Le Legislation number, which is a Biodiversity Act, a National Environment Management Biodiversity Act, ensures that we actually build in the necessity for our people to benefit South Africans, ordinary even at this community level. And following that, we then uh, uh, worked on the regulations, which were finalized, and that's a PAPS regulation. That's a sharing of benefits regulation. So we are here today to celebrate, but also to say community members are benefiting from uh, this kraal boss that's found here and here alone in the area of uh, as well as in the area of uh, Northern Cape. But we are very grateful that the Northern Cape uh, government has also followed through this initiative and it's uh, definitely going to benefit people around uh, this town here. Let's talk about some of that benefits. I mean, I spoke to Jan Kruta earlier and he's talking about a trust that will be set up to rehabilitate not only the land here, but we also know that this uh, community has been ravaged by poverty. I mean, when the mines uh, uh, left, they left a lot of uh, families out of work. So there's a huge financial benefit to the permits being handed over to the harvesting of crabbles. Let's imagine uh, this uh, community here where we are in uh, Komahas, and really without an amount of two million rand up front uh, by one company that's coming to harvest here. If it wasn't there, where would they be? And this is going to be a continuous benefit that they actually get. They've started uh, up front, there will be that two million rand contribution into their pockets, into the trust that you're referring to. But going forward, because this is a, a, a kraal boss that will benefit, I mean, that will actually ensure that we cultivate and recultivate so on an ongoing basis. This community will then be getting out of poverty because of this income and a plant from fauna and flora of South Africa, which is within the uh, uh, society. So by prospecting by anybody who comes from abroad or even any other here in South Africa will then be benefit this community on an ongoing poverty eradication will definitely be dealt with and we'll see an emerging a new uh, people of uh, this area. Just very, very quickly, ma'am, let's talk about that partnership very quickly between corporates and this kind of relationships. Yes, indeed, there are universities uh, that naturally does research and even for that research, by the way, there should be the, that benefit. A certain percentage is always negotiations. We support as the department and as a provincial government support these communities from the point of view of negotiations. By the way, it's hardcore negotiations for money. We all also all know how it actually goes. So we support that community for them to negotiate their benefits. And indeed, they will be getting uh, the, the, the uh, benefits through those hardcore negotiations. A trust will be established and that trust and Yes, and they will benefit them. Ma'am, thank you very much for talking to us. That, of course, is the Minister of Water and Environmental Affairs, Edna Malewa, just painting a picture for us in terms of what's happening today with the handing over of the permits. Uh, you can hear in the background... What